Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Here we have a view of Yellowstone National Park. Looking at the upper geyser basin from the webcam, I believe it's on top of the uh, hotel there at Old Faithful. Yeah, nice pretty day. Uh, quite a few visitors. Today is Wednesday, June 19th, 2024. They are reporting one earthquake so far today there. Um, it was by Stanley, Idaho, a magnitude 2.9. That is all that they're reporting. Now remember, when they talked about starting to have magnitude 2 earthquakes, that the geologists and scientists would start to get concerned about the activity. Yeah. This earthquake there by Stanley, Idaho, was 8.2 miles in depth. Um, they did not give it a uh, review for the shaking, which is kind of odd. No one reported feeling it. Yeah, um, they should have gave it something. Light shaking, moderate shaking. No, they didn't. Someone there is sleeping on the job. Going to Google Earth, here's the location of that 2.9. Drawn out in red is the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. Um, I don't know if I got a name for this other one. Mm, oh, Sawtooth Fault. Okay, I do. So that's the Sawtooth Fault. It goes all the way down to, let me pull this up, to the Snake River Plateau. This is where all the multiple eruptions happen. Um, the most recent was, um, well, the Craters of the Moon. Let's see. That was about 2,000 years ago. We also got Hell's Half Acre. That was between uh, four and 5,000 years ago. So let's go to the location of today's earthquake. We'll let Google Earth zoom into that. Yeah, no one said they felt it. It is in a very remote location. And I do have four monitors that I downloaded data from. I'm just kind of looking around here to see if there's any homesteads or anything like that. But I don't see anything. The one monitor that really actually measured it was here at the western boundary. There's the spectrogram on the right. We'll go to its seismic signature. That's it there. The next one is Denny Creek. Kind of a little blip that it showed. Yeah, we're, we still got the uh, Torlinos going on. The next one would be at uh, Yellowstone Lake. Let's do that. Oop, I hit the wrong. We want that one right there. And then this one here on the far left, that is the Madison River area. Yeah, it didn't really show um, the signature. Yeah, a fairly small earthquake. The western boundary earlier um, had a really strange signature. I don't know if this was um, construction. See how it starts out small and, and gets big? Let me go up over here. Or if there was a rock slide. Yeah, several. Yeah, look at that. They might have construction going on there. That's the time of the year. Okay, and this here is the uh, signature. Uh, I have to make that bigger. It came in like two minutes later. The 2.9 uh, took about two minutes to show up at the monitors that I have here. Oh, it went off the line at Yellowstone. See, it's got a long um, P wave. This activity actually started about uh, 5.22 p.m. Well, actually, um, it would have been 4.22 p.m. local time. Um, yeah, they're an hour um, before me. 
if I sound a little hoarse, I am. Uh, in the last month here in South Dakota, we have only had four days with no rain. So all that pollen is, uh, yeah, the plants are just really enjoying it. Yeah. Can you imagine only four days in the last month we have not had rain? Yeah. Had another storm come through yesterday afternoon. Um, I did see one piece of hail. was probably the size of a golf ball. Yeah, lots of hail lately. All right, so this here is the western boundary. I wanted to check out what it was showing. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files a little while ago. Yeah, okay, let's extract that. Yeah, fault movement. I've talked about the western boundary. That's an area where, um, I believe, under the ground, uh, the magma is trying to find its way up. Looks like we got a small quake right there. Yeah, and another one right there. And another one there. I downloaded it, uh, 24 hours of data. Okay, and then we got lots of popping up over here. Yeah, see that? Pop, 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 pop. I said they might have construction going on. I don't know. Here we have Yellowstone Lake during that time for that 2.9 earthquake. Yeah, it sloshed up the caldera. We got um, harmonic tremors going on. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, just mostly fault movement it looks like. But earlier, ye yesterday, last night, there was a lot of activity going on. I want to go to the spectrogram to see the heat that was coming up from the lake. We got several small earthquakes. Yeah, it's hot under there. Hot, hot, hot. Here we have an image of Yellowstone Lake. This is where they got spreading going on. Yeah. It's moving towards the west about three millimeters a year. There is a lot of fumaroles underneath the waters there too. Um, what those are is vents or openings under the water where volcanic gases and vapors are emitted. Um, they're a common feature of active volcanoes. Fumaroles emit a variety of gases, including water vapor, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen sulfide. Um, the fumaroles is, in general, the main component emissions um, usually from the metric groundwater in this location carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide and other gases originate from the, the uh, volcanic sources um, they got a i used to have it drawn out here yeah the different fumaroles and they put out a lot of heat there at yellowstone lake so that would be the case here with this small earthquake you can see with the uh, spectrogram the heat that came up well, let's see we got another small one there but let me try and find something a little bit bigger maybe that one. Oh, it's not going to give me the data oh how about down here okay mm, I don't know what happened there okay we'll go down here you can see the heat that's coming up we'll go to the seismic signature Torlinos yeah that is a definite Torlino yeah you see this Active Volcanoes 2 prior to an eruption. Um, only God knows when it's going to erupt. Let me go back here. But you can see here with the thickening of the lines, it was really active yesterday. Yeah, look at that one. It's like, wow. Yeah, I'll go to the seismic signature. Yep, okay. Here we got the Norris Geyser Basin um, during the time of that 2.9. Let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, and we got, yeah, like I was saying yesterday. Let me try and get this. Um, we had a lot of popping going on, if I can find it. There we go. During that same time frame. Yeah, magma was probably on the move yesterday. And then we got the earthquakes happening today. See that? Pop, pop, pop. And harmonic tremors. I if I can make that bigger. Yeah, okay. So this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Yeah, more harmonic tremors. Let's 
take a look at this. Again, this is the Norris Geyser Basin. There's an earthquake right there. Yeah. And there's the signature. And I've been talking about how this ground is getting so brittle. Um, it's not flexing like it should. Um, it's not bending like it should. And so we're having a lot of really small microquakes. That one was shallow. Look at that. You can tell by the signature how it's brighter at the surface. But again, yeah, yesterday. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, okay, I'll bring it up for you. Yeah, I'm a little hoarse today. Okay. Yeah, can you see all the little lines marked out here? Showing all the earthquakes. Again, this is the uh, Madison River, or excuse me, the Norris Geyser Basin. And this is Denny Creek. Yeah, I've been keeping it on, on this. Yeah, the sawtooth. Yeah, let's make that bigger. Yeah. That's been ongoing. I keep talking about it. Um, since August of last year. And these Torlinos are spreading to other locations around the park there. Okay, let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, one definite deep line of melt mm. we'll go there and we got one two three four smaller lines of melt pockets of melt and then yeah okay let me close this and this is what it was showing yesterday lots of popping see that see how deep that is again this is Denny Creek um, some of you might not know where Denny Creek is located there at the park. So we'll go to that location using Google Earth. Do, 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 do. Okay. See, this, okay, there's Denny, Denny Creek Road. This is the area. There's the monitor for Denny Creek right there. Up over here is Hedgen Lake. And then down over here is the western boundary that I've been talking about. Um, right there somewhere in here is the monitor. Do I have it? Yeah, okay um, Where it's been trying to come up this in this location is trying to fracture and um, Yeah, have an eruption much like what they have in Hawaii, but it's a completely different lava um, The last time Yellowstone erupted it did a counter rotation counterclockwise rotation it started up here in the Madison area and then they had multiple eruptions what they call unzipping kind of like a zipper and then it got down over here by Hart Lake and that's when the two resurgent domes collapsed Mallard Lake resurgent dome and the Sour Creek resurgent dome collapsed which is up over here they collapsed at the same time and then they had their huge eruption now, there's been smaller eruptions since, yeah, the last huge eruption. Um, example, right here in, in yellow. Okay, uh, this was only 70,000 years ago. You know, they've had multiple smaller eruptions. That's Pitch Tone Plateau. Um, that is some really deep lava there. Yeah, about 100 feet thick. Supposedly, it covers an area about the same size as Washington DC this supposedly which I don't believe them was the most recent eruption within the caldera of Yellowstone there's been other eruptions outside uh, like I said on the Snake River Plateau they've had them as recent as 2000 years ago uh, the Native Americans talk about actually witnessing the lava flowing from here yeah so anyways, that's all I have for you today. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Yeah, you know, always be prepared for any type of disaster. Um, yeah, could it be hail or volcanic eruptions or earthquakes or nuclear war? <laughs> I laugh about that. I shouldn't. Yeah, um, Russia's recently changed their doctrine for nuclear war work. If they feel threatened, they can do first strike. Anyways, yeah. Um, 
yeah what are your comments what are your thoughts thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later god bless you all Bye.